they're putting too much labor into a specific product. An example might be chicken breast. So they might be buying a, a, a full seven ounce chicken breast or a random chicken breast that has a lot of trim, a lot of fat. They take a lot of time to trim that. Uh, ultimately, their yield is about a six ounce breast. So maybe instead of buying a seven ounce breast that has a lot of waste involved and adds a lot of labor, they just buy a fully trimmed six ounce breast that has nearly 100% yield, no labor involved, and in essence, it lo lowers their cost per serving when they change the specification. So there's often situations we see where there's maybe a better product that maybe it's somewhat further processed, but still allows them to customize it so that it still keeps the integrity of the brand. Another example would be, typically in produce, we see a lot of opportunities as well. Uh, broccoli is a great example. If, if a restaurant is buying 14 count broccoli or even crowns for that matter, they're spending time to cut those into uh, florets. So first of all, they're spending labor hours doing that but they don't use the leftover pieces and the stems from processing the crowns or even the 14 count broccoli in, into florets. Uh, we've done a cost analysis to show that once you consider labor and yield, it's better off just buying the florets right away. So again, that's another perfect example where it's maybe there's a better fit for the product based on how they're ultimately serving it to their customer.